and you just, you feel dumpy, you feel bloated, you feel like you're getting bigger every year, you look at yourself in the mirror and you see yourself getting bigger every year, and you, you try to eat less and it doesn't help, you're always hungry, you're always tired, and you're struggling, and it just, you don't feel comfortable in your own skin. And that's what was happening to me again, and I didn't want to go back there. You're watching Fowler's Makery and Mischief. I'm Zachary Fowler, winner of Alone Season 3. And this is 87 Days, my series about a complete reenactment of all I did out on loan. This is episode four, and this spiel is getting longer at the beginning of each one. I gotta cut it down somehow. Um, today, we're gonna talk about before, after, how I lost 73 pounds in 87 days, and how I've kept it off since I've got home, and you can do it too. It's not just about my time out there. So, let's get into it. So this probably seems like a weird time to talk about this, being that the last episode, episode three, was all about my first fish, and my first fire, and day two. But, the losing the weight and how that all went for me is very strongly related to that first 12 days. So I didn't start the wizard staff, until day 27 and my precise chronicling of my adventure out there was just a hodgepodge of symbols when I did start to make up for it. And one of them is, you can see here, the number 12 above the potty. And that was because that first 12 days was miserable. I, I didn't want to leave because I was the person that was, uh, and I hit it from the camera, the person that was pooping themselves to death because I, I just, my body just cleansed. It, it just went through a, uh, a resetting, if you would. You know, I had a problem with the fats and I couldn't digest them and I wasn't able to handle carbs well. So it was like, you know, I was like Jack Spratt, could eat no fat and, you know, and so I, I couldn't get energy. I felt weak a lot of the times. I felt like I never really woke up. My body was just dragged all the time. I woke up tired, I went to bed tired. You know, uh, if anything, I felt like I had more energy after dark sometimes because it took so long for my body to process the food that I had eaten that I started giving, it would give me energy at night instead of during the day. So, um, it, my, I was a mess. And I hid that from the cameras. I used up every bit of moss on the trees, uh, that hanging moss, like the old man's beard kind of stuff, to, for toiletries that first week. I had to climb trees at one point to get more moss. So weighing 223 going into that, at 36 years old, and according to the visual chart, I was somewhere between 30, 35% body fat, and like one pound for my age below being overweight and on the chart is as obese. And my BMI, I can't remember it, but I'll put it right here. Before going in too, was that. And then I went out there, and that first 12 days was like a cleanse. Now I ate fairly healthy for those last two years, because Jamie you know, takes good care of us, cooks the most delicious, healthy meals. But the damage had already been done from years earlier. You know, always having my little sweetie and coffee on the way to work in the morning. I loved my little Danish, I loved my little oatmeal cookie, whatever it was, something sweet. I had to have something sweet almost every meal. And I didn't drink soda. Uh, I only had fast food like once every two weeks or something like that. But, uh, and, and I was always active, so I was very, very strong. So I think, you know, being a 35% body fat going into it, you know, uh, I was, I looked a lot stronger and healthier and carried it very well compared to most people that on that chart said, I think I had a lot more muscle. But after that first 12 days, all of a sudden, I felt like this burst in energy. And that one fish a day that I was eating at that time and that fish head soup, all of a sudden my body was able to like do something with that that I've never been able to do with food before. And I was, it's like my digestion system reset and I started gaining energy. And that's when I went up and started working on my shelter up over the hill because I had the strength to do it. All of a sudden, I felt so much stronger. And I, my mind just started uh, just 
went off the rails. It was just, it was just boom. It was so fast, so quick. Everything started coming to me faster. The, the ideas, the remembering of things I read in books long, long ago. My memory was just, I was able to access things I, I wasn't able to access before. I've always struggled with this dyslexia and, and you know, and that has, and remembering people's names, remembering like what word I'm trying to get out at the time, you know, I get, my mind starts racing faster and faster and all of a sudden it's like a lot of that stuff w dropped away and I started operating, I felt like at a whole new level. When I got back, I researched it and I believe it to be your body going into a ketogenic state. Without carbs, your body goes and burns ketones for energy instead of glucose, the sugars. And everything we eat in an American diet has sugars in it. You know, if you buy stuff from the store and you're not shopping around the outside of the store, even the natural stuff has sugars in it and can throw you out of ketosis. But without any berries or fruit out there, I wasn't being thrown out of ketosis. You end up in ketosis and your body is burning those fats for energy, your brain likes it more, and I, I believe that that was a big part of my ability to make the most of that fish head soup and the fish out there and to have the energy to do what I needed to do. But on top of digesting all that stuff and getting the most out of it, my body is also began after that first 12 days to heavily digest my own body fat and muscle for energy. Some people said that, uh, oh, you just go out there fat and you could just sit around. There's no way you could do that. If it wasn't for that almost a fish a day, that 63 fish and two birds, and that fish head soup three times a day, you, I never felt like I was all starving out there. There was only one or two days where the fish head soup was like three or four days old before I caught a new fish, that I, it was, I felt fairly, really weak and uh, really degraded. But the rest of the time, I felt pretty jazzed and I felt pretty good. And by the end, at 87 days, I had lost 73 pounds. I came out weighing 150, and I felt good. I feel like because of the fish head soup and the electrolytes and all that I get from boiling those bones down and the cartilage and all those minerals and the lack of salt that I had out there because it wasn't, it was on a lake and not an ocean, I got out of boiling those fish until there was nothing left and I, I drank down all the sludge, everything that that bo fish boiled down to, I drank and ate every last bit of it. Minus the, uh, the bones that I finally would throw out. So the day I won, my BMI was 21.1 or something. I was feeling good. The fish head soup had sustained me. My body had, um, sure, had digested some of itself. I'm thinking from charts and looking at stuff that I probably uh, lost about 40 pounds of body fat and 30 pounds of muscle. Um, that's just a guess from visually because I didn't have any measurements from before and things like that and I never had a, um, a body fat test done. But I felt good. That fish head soup had sustained me. The ketogenic state allowed me to shrink and gain energy from the shrinking while I was shrinking and I, I was able I had more energy when I was out there than when I came home and started struggling with the carbs again. So we found uh, Jimmy Moore's book, Keto Clarity. Because I was so frustrated after I came home in a whole week or two weeks or whatever it was uh, of feeling sick. I was like, I had more energy when I was out there. Why is this happening? And I found Jimmy Moore's book about Keto Clarity. And I realized that the reason was because carbs were making me sick. Now, if I had kept on eating carbs, I would have balanced back out at some point and uh, I would have been able to handle them, but there was more to it than that. I gained almost 15 pounds in like two weeks after coming back and eating a, a diet that included carbs. Like, And a lot of the things I was eating when I was back was just fruit. I just wanted apples and all those sugars my body latched onto because of like the yo-yo dieting effect and latched onto and just started packing pounds on my body. And that got me so frustrated, I started driving my wife nuts. I didn't want to get pudgy again. I had been fairly okay with myself before, but now I was light and thin. I, I wanted to run, I wanted to 
do things I had never done before. I wanted to enjoy that strength. I felt strong when I was out there on the show. And to come home and feel weak again and tired getting out of bed in the morning when I woke up so clear and ready to, to, to meet the day when I was out there. So we read Jimmy Moore's book about keto clarity and it all made sense. The reason why I was doing so well out there and the reason I was struggling now is carbs. And not that carbs are the enemy, some people can handle them. You probably have a friend, if you're watching this, maybe you're the thin guy and you're like, I can eat whatever I want. I can eat as many Danishes as I want and I feel fine and I look fine. But there's other people that are out there and you eat carbs and you, and you just, you feel dumpy, you feel bloated, you feel like you're getting bigger every year, you look at yourself in the mirror and you see yourself getting bigger every year, and you, you try to eat less and it doesn't help, you're always hungry, you're always tired, and you're struggling, and it just, you don't feel comfortable in your own skin. And that's what was happening to me again, and I didn't want to go back there. So we we researched the ketogenic, and we started eating ketogenic as a family. Um, my wife and the family, they backed me up by throwing all the carbs out and, and sticking with it on me. Jamie and I both found all these benefits from it. You know, she's one of those people that can eat whatever she wants and looks beautiful all the time, my wife. But uh, she found that uh, she had uh, eczema or rash or something like that that had been reappearing over the years and bothered her skin and was annoying. And when we started doing the ketogenic thing, our skin became smooth, like, like baby skin again. And it was so nice. My, it was so resilient. And we just, like, there were so many benefits. We just woke up so much easier in the morning. Just felt stronger, felt better all the time. And it was so cool that we continued to do it until we bought the house three or four months ago. And when we bought the house, we started eating pizza again. It should throw us out of a ketogenic state. And I gained back another 20 pounds. And just three weeks ago again, I switched back to the ketogenic diet, was very fastidious about it. I am one of those people, and it runs my family, that carbs and sugars means their body packs on fat. And I am liking being my new thin self. I am liking the energy I have. I love waking up early in the morning. I wake up at 4.15, I go into my office, edit, the kids will wake up, you know, two hours later. I get them set up with breakfast and spend time with my family and I've already accomplished a lot. I've never been able to do that until I found out and, and what this ketogenic thing did to me. And winning alone gave me so much more in the end than the prize money. Now I know and I can control my body weight. I've gone out of ketogenic state now, you know, and then back into it again. And I, in the last three weeks, I've lost eight of those pounds, those 20 pounds I gained since we bought the house and stopped doing the ketogenic diet. I, almost quickly just shed it right off. I have so much more energy again. I was starting to feel dumpy and, and frustrated and a little bloated because the carbs, you know, they just, they don't agree with me. And now I feel like I have so much more than just that win. I came out of there with a whole new body and a whole new opportunity in life. And it's, le it's led me to the point where I've learned about this and now I can control my body weight. I don't have to struggle with, with going back to becoming overweight and being frustrated with it. I can control how I look and how I feel and how much energy I have and how much I get energy I get out of my food. And, that's, and the best thing about it is the ketogenic diet is such a delicious diet. It sounds like, oh, gross, 60% fat, you know? It's like, how could you sustain that? It's really disgusting. These things, once you've lost that uh, desire for sugar, it, it goes away, and within like a week, it's not a big deal. You find other sweet things to eat. There's other stuff. You can have heavy cream whipped with a little drop or two of some sort of other sweeteners that aren't sugars and uh, some vanilla in it and, and make a peanut sauce to go on it. And we make delicious desserts like that. There's things called fat bombs, which are like, you know, like peanut butter balls, basically. They're just all like fatty little desserts that you can have as snacks all the time. I mean, it really is one of the tastiest diet. And I'll link it up right here and down below in the description. The meal plan that we go with through, um, whatever it's called right here, is, is great. They come up with all the stuff for you 
all you have to do is, is pick the one on the meal plan, what you want to do that week, add it to your thing, and it's got all this whole list of beautiful ketogenic meals that are so easy to prepare and so delicious. Every single one of them so far we've had has been really good. It's the easiest thing to do. So if you've been struggling with your weight and you've been struggling with uh, going back and forth on diets, you know, ketogenic or a low carb diet can make the difference in your life. And it's not that, it's not a painful thing outside of breaking the cycle for that first 12 days of breaking the cycle of, of the carbs that you're addicted to and the sugars that you're addicted to. When you leave those behind though, you come out so clear and so, so much better. And you, it's so easy to maintain. So that's pretty much all for me. Uh, this is a spoon I was making resembling the first spoon I made out there. I was going for a miso spoon to look more like this. The one I made actually ended up looking more like a toilet and uh, I thought that was kind of funny considering all the potty issues I had those first 12 days. And you could tell what was on my mind. It came out in my carving apparently. And um, I'll try and get around this week or next week. I've been working on a video called My Hacks that I had out on loan which includes the can opener on this being turned into the spoon gouge that I used today to carve this and the spoon that uh, you just saw there too, that one I carved out on loan. So I'm not sure what'll be on next week's episode. Been running all around, I'm trying to get these things worked out. We'll see, maybe even one of my first traps, we'll get into that or something. And my first uh, trigger fall, triggered fish traps as well. So thanks for watching, that's all for me. Fowler out. <laughs>